and welcome back to my channel. It's Saturday morning. It's time for me to do my garden chores. I am usually not able to get out here throughout the week because I do work um, basically nine to five, just like a lot of other people. So Saturday mornings are like my weekend revival here for the garden. So I have some updates um, on the garden and some projects, of course, that I need to finish. So just tag along with me to get those done. Let's go. Okay, so there is a lot to be done and very little time for me to do it. Well, not very little, but I am trying to be done by like noontime. So what I'm going to do is just start in one area here, what's closest to me, and then go around like that in each section and get everything that needs to be done in all of them. So first project, we are pulling up all of the garlic, whether it is ready or not. It's coming up because my sweet potatoes are my sweet because my sweet potato slips are very close to being ready to go in and I don't want to have to wait like and pull the garlic up and then put them in and we need the space. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start ripping all of that up. So it was about 15 minutes ago that I realized that my iPhone decided that I did not have enough storage to store the video of me pulling up all of my garlic which i got some good pieces by the way but you won't see that um we're just going to start here <laughs> and just continue where we left off i am going to um clean up all of this mulch as well it was just some leaves that i took from like the fall time because this tree drops leaves that tree drops leaves and I just pick them up because it's free and I put them down here on my beds when I need them to. Um, I'm also pulling up the mulch because I planted some sweet potatoes in here a few weeks ago and the sweet potatoes will act like a um, mulch themselves because they're going to kind of spread out um, and like fall over the beds. I'm hoping that it's going to be like really, really cute. So I'm just going to get dig up the extra basically. And then we'll move on because I've been having some technical difficulties <laughs> this morning. So you guys are just going to have to bear with me today. Okay. All right. Let's get this finished. So the next thing I am going to tackle is finishing my setup here. Um, I got some netting um, plastic this time because the wire was a little bit expensive for me right now. Um, and I'm going to use that instead. So... Let me show you what that looks like real quick. I've got this one. It is the three feet by 25 feet green. It also comes in black color. And this is what I'm going to use to cover it because the loofahs are growing in and like if you see on this one this is two of these are two of my loofahs that are coming up and then this spaghetti squash is kind of like attaching itself to the loofahs as they grow so within a couple of weeks i expect this to be fully covered and we have loofahs well i have loofahs <laughs> over here and this thing as well they have also started to grow up so we need to get this on this ASAP. Okay, so this should be fairly easy. My thought is I can just throw it over. That's that's my thought process. Um it took me like two seconds to realize that I am vertically challenged, so we will not be throwing it over. Um like that we won't be doing that <laughs> no we're gonna do it the other way unroll some and and toss it over okay there we go Voila. Oh, 
That's not how you say it. Voila. I'm gonna take some scissors and give it a little trim. I'm gonna trim it long enough so, so that I can fold it under and tie it on itself with some zip ties. Now that we have this done, we will be continuing in this area by pulling up the potato bed. So I'm just gonna pick this up and move it about here. Okay. And now I have access to my potato bed without having to actually move this entire thing. Okay, so not all of the potatoes will be coming up because I don't need to pull all of them up, but I do have to make room for what's going down. The reason why I was trying to get that finished, I'm going to get my gloves on here, is because I need some place for these to go. So I started these about two weeks ago. This is the... Deli, I have a delicata squash. I have a honey nut squash, and then I have a mini charm pumpkin um, that are supposed to be vining plants. This is this will be my first time growing any of these things, so my intention is to plant them along this side of this bed, right where this uh, the trellis will be, and they grow up the trellis along with the loofahs on the other side because I'm trying to get that you know that dream the magic effect that um, I see in all of those gorgeous videos but I also want to keep these off the ground from spiraling everywhere because I do have such you know small and tight spaces so in order to do that um, we'll get a few potatoes uh, some small ones but um, sacrifices must be made so let's go So now that I have that out of the way, I'm just going to make six little divots here because this is a six by two bed. So if you're doing square foot, square foot gardening, then I should be able to get uh, six places here. So I'm just going to place them about a foot apart. So one... 
two, three, four, five, six. There we go. One, two, three, five, six. Okay. We want to make sure we get all in there. And then, I guess I'll put the pumpkins in the middle. Here we go with the Delicata. And this is what I love about the Epic Six Cells, because you just, whoop, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Let's do this right. And then, ah. And pop. And then we'll do. Oops. Just love popping these out of here. And then pop. And spot. And then we'll do. Oops. Just love popping these out of here. Right, get this situated. I'm going to water these in later, but so far, this area is done. So, that is all of my chores that I have for today. Um, it is time for me to go and get ready to go and have lunch with my friends. Um, so, until next time, please stay safe out here, keep gardening, keep growing, and like, share and comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.